Good afternoon, it is a Sunday today. Izzy is at my dad's because she's busy doing something with a group in Cardiff, but I can't be there today because I've got a rehearsal and a gig. Ivy is hard at work in the dining room, sorting out the PA. Aren't you, dearest? Yes, dearest. This is what you don't see when you're at the gigs. <laughs> the PA needs a bit of tender loving care. No, it's not a rare snake. It's one of the IB speaker leads, there's the other one. And meanwhile, true to gender stereotyping, I've been cooking up a storm. Well, I hope I have. Um, oh, that's a bit high, actually. Let's turn that back down. I'm just making a basic pasta meal. I've just thrown in anything I could possibly find out of the fridge and cupboard. <laughs> there's even peas and broccoli in that pasta dish. And, yeah, we've got loads of pasta. And I'm rather hoping this is going to do us for two meals, <laughs> lunch and dinner, because we're going to be busy rehearsing and we won't have time to cook. My last two gigs have been with two different Kaylee bands and they've been with two different Kayleys, but tonight it's a pub gig, but it's a sit-down concert pub gig. It's quite unusual and it's going to be in Monmouth, so we'll be heading out there later on. Now, I think we're about to serve up. I have grated cheese. Um, now, I've kind of engineered this meal bearing in mind that the three of us are doing a concert in which people are actually going to listen in silence. I haven't included any beans and normally I'm the pulse queen. I mean, you know, lentils, red kidney beans, you know, the lot, the works. I normally chuck them all in, but not on a gig day because they're a bit windy. And likewise, I find onions are the absolute killer for me on a gig day. So I try to avoid onions, but disaster of disasters, there was only one carton of normal passata and the other one came with onion and garlic included and there just wasn't going to be enough for like five meals if I didn't include both of them so fingers crossed on that one. Ivy's got a new toy from Ikea and so have I. I've got one in his car waiting to go to my house. Look what it is. Which cupboard was it in? Yes, this one, look. It's a like over the sink colander. Fleets. Yeah, so I'm going to just chuck the pasta in there. Marvellous. There's IBs now. We're going to have to eat it on our laps in the front room because the table is absolutely covered in gear. He's got cheese and chilli flakes, look. That's how he likes it. Oops, just splashed hot water all down me and it's even gone in my socks. Yes, those are pink crocs. I know, embarrassing, but there we are because I was just washing that up quick. So I knew a quick one minute rinse and it would be done. Whereas if you leave it there, it's a big bulky item and it gets in the way. I'm just having a quick play before Dan arrives and IB is having a very late shower. It's cold in here. I cannot get my fingers to warm up. I've got quite a lot of layers on. <laughs> the one thing that I have to practice before gigs with this band is the solo from Englishman in New York, which I've totally just ripped off from the record. It's a bit tricky. <laughs> Tuplet goes just say hippopotamus really fast in your head. Works every time. <laughs> Tricks of the trade. So that was a hippopotamus there. <sighs> I'm just going to get on and practice that now. See you later. Cycling fifth scales warm up thingy. I'm a bit unbalanced now because I haven't done all of them. Never mind. Dirty gold Dirty gold Dirty gold Talking about chords again. Yes. 
it's a B. That so it's that's an E minor D C sharp major C major seven B minor of some kind. Her eyes they shone like diamonds. Beautiful, she was queen of the land. With her hair thrown over the shoulders. Goodbye, B. It's about quarter past six now. I'm just going to put my flute away, and I'm going to get that food on quick for boys and we're going to have a quick scoff and then it's off to Monmouth. It's band dinner time! Yay! Well done, Mum. Yum, yum. Am I the band mum? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Mm, that was very nice. We've had a quick scoff and we're going to get our bags packed and go now. <sighs> Thing is, when you get back late from these very intense gigs. You are so tired by the time you get in that you struggle to get your shoes unlaced to get into bed. Dan washed up. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. Quick slip of tea. We're on our way and that looks suspiciously like a full moon. Looks pretty brown. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. We're at the Queen's Head Inn in Monmouth tonight. And this is a very old pub indeed. Just giving you a little tour of the outside. Look, super old. That'll be us. Right, the boys have got the gear in without me because I spent so long faffing with the camera. Whoops, a daisy. Let's get set up again. Not so much PA this night, and uh, tonight it's Dan's PA, not IB's. We've both got one. It's what flavour? Parsley. I never parsley. thought that. It tastes like parsley. Absolutely <laughs> weird. Thank you. Well, the thing is, it looks like a pine Not quite as many wires as last night, eh? We've done our first set, it's gone down really well. As you can see, we've got a lovely sit-down audience today and they're very attentive in this particular place. They actually come to listen to the band and they do sit and like watch it like a folk club audience or something, so it's really lovely. But we're gonna go back on again in a minute. Obviously can't film the gig because I'm too busy doing it, <laughs> but I'll speak to you later. It's that time, we've done the gig. It was a nice one, wasn't it, boys? Good venue, lush audience. We're just putting all the gear away. Well, I say we. <laughs> it's apparently, at this very second, it's Dan. <laughs> Pub sign, my friend. It's blowing in the wind. Apparently, the fireplace in there is the oldest one in Monmouth. We are back from the gig. Stuff in our faces. Starving. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!